In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me for Mass today. I'm celebrating this Mass for the repose of the soul of Siobhan Carroll. This Mass was given to me to celebrate for Siobhan by Anita Francis and Michael Downs, so thank you to them. Today on Remembrance Sunday, we remember the supreme sacrifice of all who gave their lives in service of their country. We thank them for the freedoms we enjoy through them, and we pray that they may find peace in their eternal home in heaven. The selfless love of God is revealed to us in Jesus. As we begin our celebration of the sacred mysteries, we open our hearts to receive and celebrate God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you reveal to us God's selfless love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you model for us on the cross how to give our all. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you teach us the generosity of self-sacrifice. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people, people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The books of the kings from which today's first reading is taken are chronicles of the lives of the kings of Israel and Judah from the time of the division under Solomon's successor. They record a period when both kingdoms were trying to establish themselves against their neighbouring kingdoms and each other with disastrous results. The key figures are the great prophets Elijah and Elisha who tried to maintain the rule of God. Today, Elijah, who is starving in a time of famine, tests the faith of a poor woman who, with her son, is on the verge of death. The author of the letter to the Hebrews, of which our second reading forms part, continues to develop what we've come to know as Christology, the study of God as it applies to Jesus. Central to the mystery of Christ is his priesthood, as intercessor between his father and us. But unlike the priests of the line of Aaron, Christ committed his life in a once and for all action. He takes our sins on himself, so that when he comes again, it won't be to punish sin, which he's already taken on himself, but to reward the just. A reading from the first book of the Kings. Elijah the prophet went off to Sidon, and when he reached the city gate, there was a widow gathering sticks. Addressing her, he said, Please, please bring me a little water in a vessel for me to drink. She was setting off to bring it when he called after her. Please, he said, bring me a scrap of bread in your hand. 
As the Lord your God lives, she replied, I have no baked bread, but only a handful of meal in a jar and a little oil in a jug. I am just gathering a stick or two to go and prepare this for myself and my son to eat, and then we shall die. But Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you have said. But first make a little scone of it for me and bring it to me, and then make some for yourself and for your son. For thus the Lord speaks, the God of Israel. Jar of meal shall not be spent, jug of oil shall not be emptied, before the day when the Lord sends rain on the face of the earth. The woman went and did as Elijah told her, and they ate the food, she himself and her son. The jar of meal was not spent, nor the jug of oil emptied, just as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the psalm. My soul, give praise to the Lord. My soul, give give praise to the Lord. Lord. It is the Lord who keeps faith for ever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. My soul, give praise to the Lord. It is the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down. It is the Lord who loves the just, the Lord who protects the stranger. My soul, give praise to the Lord. The Lord upholds the widow and orphan, but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign for ever, Zion's God, from age to age. My soul, give praise to the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. It is not as though Christ had entered a man-made sanctuary, which was only modelled on the real one, but it was heaven itself, so that he could appear in the actual presence of God on our behalf. And he does not have to offer himself again and again, like the high priest going into the sanctuary year after year with a blood that is not his own, or else he would have had to suffer over and over again since the world began. Instead of that, he has made his appearance once and for all, now at the end of the last stage, to do away with sin by sacrificing himself. Since men only die once, and after that comes judgment, so Christ too offers himself only once to take the faults of many on himself. And when he appears a second time, it will not be to deal with sin, but to reward with salvation those who are waiting for him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Even if you have to die, says the Lord, keep faithful and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to walk about in long robes, to be greeted obsequiously in the market squares, to take the front seats in the synagogues and the places of honour at banquets. These are the men who swallow the property of widows while making a show of lengthy prayers. The more severe will be the sentence they receive. He sat down opposite the treasury and watched the people putting money into the treasury, and many of the rich put in a great deal. A poor widow came and put in two small coins, the equivalent of a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, I tell you solemnly, this poor widow has put more in than all who have contributed to the treasury. For they have all put in money they had over. But she, from the little she had, has put in everything she possessed, 
all she had to live on. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As of this afternoon, I've heard the hymn Abide With Me five times already today. It's my day on the prison services and we managed to get five separate wings to the multi-faith room for their chapel service. A total of 26 people came, about 20% of the prison roll, which I don't think is too bad. My focus for the services this weekend was remembrance, and so I use the traditional hymns of this day, I vow to thee my country, and abide with me, as well as the Manx national anthem, O land of our birth, to finish. Abide with me speaks of the single-mindedness that's a recurring theme of the scripture readings this weekend. Each verse reflects the wisdom that it's the Lord's accompaniment that secures our lives. Through the clouds and sunshine of life, It's the Lord who guarantees our future. We see this recognition of the Lord and his place in our lives in both the first reading and the gospel. In the first reading from the first book of the Kings, the widow agreed to share what she had with Elijah, and so God ensured her needs were met. In the gospel, the widow gave all she had, not what she had left over once she provided for herself. Her devotion to God was such that all the, although the actual amount given was very small, in God's sight it was huge. This sort of single-mindedness of putting the Lord and his will first in our lives is modelled for us today as an example. Too often in life we're focused on the things that let us down. Abide with me reminds us that when other helpers and comforts flee, It's the Lord alone who stands beside us. He alone is the help of the helpless. Too often we want earth's joys and its passing glories, even though we know they grow dim and will let us down. Hearing Abide With Me several times today gave me the opportunity to reflect on the words and to begin to appreciate their wisdom, the wisdom we hear about from the two generous women in our scripture readings this weekend. And that generosity can become a habit by practising it in our own lives. It's always been my experience that giving has never left me short. And the widow who gave her all expressed great confidence that the Lord would take care of her if she gave her all to him. As we mark remembrance this weekend, we also remember that we benefit from the generosity of those who gave their lives in service of their country. They too demonstrate the wisdom of the women from the scriptures. The freedoms we enjoy today were won at the cost of their lives. So as we thank them, we take them for our example as how we should live our lives, always following the example of Christ and laying them down in service of our neighbour. We pray the Nicene Creed together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ died and suffered for our sake, we come together to renew our commitment to follow him. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops and our priests, as they lead us in faith and service of the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. On this Remembrance Sunday, we remember those who died in both world wars, preserving our freedoms and those who have since served their country, paying the ultimate price. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We ask that we be inspired to give lovingly and generously whatever our gifts. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We think of our global and political leaders as they face huge challenges. We pray that they will work for peace and to serve the people rather than their personal ambitions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember the people of Spain mourning those lost in the floods, praying that they will be comforted. Lord, Hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray urgently for peace, remembering especially the people of Ukraine, Gaza, Lebanon, and the safe return of the remaining Israeli hostages. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those in our communities who are sick, and for those who have died, remembering especially Siobhan Carroll. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In this moment of silence, we remember those needs kept in the quiet of our hearts. God, our Father, hear these petitions which your people place before you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the fine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our, our good, good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favour, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honour it with loving devotion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin, by the passion of the cross he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead he gave us life eternal. 
and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim, by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Macald and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, his assistant bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 
the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your Spirit the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Many thanks for joining me for Mass. Take care. Bye. God bless and see you soon.